It's important to know that cyclohexanes undergo a conformational change called ring flipping. As a result of ring flip, the up carbons become down carbons and the axial bonds become equatorial bonds. And in this example here, I will just explain or draw the flipping of a chair conformation. So just drawing the chair. So this is the chair conformation. I will assign the up carbons and down carbons. So this would be down, down, and down. In the first step of flipping the chair conformation, we'll rotate this end up, and therefore we get the following conformation. which is called the boat conformation. So now this down carbon here, it becomes an up carbon. And the up carbons here become down carbons. Now this side, nothing changed on this side. So that's going to remain down carbons. And this becomes here an up carbon. Now, this is the chair, and this is now, we call it, boat. Now, to continue the flipping, we will flip this side now. We'll take it down. And therefore, we get we get the following chair conformation. So now we have up carbon, down, down, up, and up, and down carbon. Now looking at the bonds, we can see that the axial bonds became equatorial and the equatorial bonds will become axial. So the blue bonds, which were equatorial, they will become axial. So on a down carbon facing down, and up carbon facing up, down, and down, and up. Now the axial bonds we said they become equatorial and therefore the red bonds are drawn on the equatorial side. So on an up carbon the equatorial are facing down and on down carbons the equatorials are facing up. And this is the second chair conformation. So if I call this one conformation one and this one is conformation two.